Hey guys, in this tutorial you will learn how to create a moving platform just like this and it keeps repeating itself so you can have a little gameplay inside of your game. First, right click in your content drawer, create a blueprint class, actor, and let's name this one platform. Open it up and let's add a component to the screen, namely a cube. Okay, first we have to size this one up. So go to scaling, make it a bit smaller and make it a bit larger on the X and the Y axis. Hit compile. We can already drag this in our game to see the size. Okay, this is good for us. Now, we want our platform to move from left to right and back. So that's in the X axis. You can see it here at the red line and also here on the red line, the red arrow. So now I go to the event graph. I can delete this one because I need event begin play because I want this to be moving when the game starts. So that's event begin play. First thing, I'm going to drag off a timeline. A yeah, timeline. Let's name this one moving. Double click to open this one up and let's add a vector track. Click here. Let's name this one moving for example. And like I told you before, we're going to move this on the X axis. So I lock the Y and the Z. Now shift click to get two nodes. The first one I put a time of zero with a value of zero and it moves over time of three seconds to let's say a space of 500. Click this one to fit to your screen, hit compile. We can exit this timeline and in the event graph. Right now, I'm going to get my cube on the screen, drag off a pin and set the relative location. Set not get. Hit this one up with the update one and our moving track to the new location. Now when I hit compile and play, you will see it moving, but it only moves once and I want it to keep looping inside of my game. So how do I do that? Namely, first we drag off a delay node because I will loop my game with a if or with a branch statement. So let's set it this to three seconds because I set my timeline here in moving in three seconds. We're going to create a variable, namely it's looped. This is a boolean, hit compile and we want our platform to be looping. So hit this one as true, hit compile. Now we drag off a branch and get our condition because it is looped. If it is looped, we want to set it. If it's false, we want to loop it back. So if it's true, it is no longer looped. So then we have to reverse the movement. And if it is false, we want it back in looped because we want to play it again. So we're going to get this pin right here into reverse and this pin from is looped back into play. So let's do that one. This one in play, this one in reverse, hit compile. And if I don't add this delay node in between, then this one will be executed at the same time. So it won't work. Now, if your code looks like spaghetti codes like here, you can organize it like double click and then you can just drag this around to make it more neat. And you can create as many as you want. So for example, I can put this one here. And you can double click to create multiple ones. And you can do the same thing for this line, for example, and put it here. Now, so it's more readable, your code. So when I now hit compile play, I now have my platform and I'm moving, it is looping and repeating. Now, if you want to add a little pause, it is very easy. We already have our delay node. It is three seconds because in our moving, we also set this value to three seconds. We can also change this here, but let's add a little stop. Let's add an extra second in there. So make it four seconds. And right now you see there is a little stop and it goes back again. And it should also do this on this side as well. And this is how you can simply edit a little moving platform 
that keeps looping in Unreal Engine 5.